Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and I apologize for the background noise. If you guys can hear, there is an apartment building being built across from my street. So I'm really sorry if you can hear any construction noise in the background. I'm filming at the time that they've been quietest, but obviously there's still a little bit of noise. So I do apologize if the camera picks that up, but I'm doing the best that I can <laughs> given the circumstances. But anyway, today's video is super exciting because I'm going to be reviewing the lowest rated high heels on Fashion Nova. So I adore high heels. As you can see, I literally love them. They are my children, my babies, the loves of my life. And lately, I haven't been able to wear them very much because of quarantine, but that does not stop me from online shopping. As per usual in my lowest rated items videos, we are going to kick this off with the highest rated item of the lowest rated items. So these pair of heels were rated 3.7 stars out of 5. And by the way, to find the lowest rated heels on Fashion Nova, I had to literally click on each individual heel to see the rating. So this took several hours. So so I'm excited to finally see what these shoes are like after staring at them for hours and hours and hours. And these are what the first pair of heels look like. So the 3.7 out of 5 stars. They are these gorgeous green heels that have a big block heel on the back. And if I take out all of this stuffing, which is really good that they have this stuffing in it because it means that, you know, this shoe didn't get squashed in shipping. So it did come all the way from LA, I believe, to Australia. So that's a long way. But it just has the nice thick straps on the front. So I actually actually really didn't think I was going to like these heels at all. I was looking at them and I was like, oh, they don't really look that cute online. But I mean, I don't own a pair of green heels, so whatever. I'll just get them. I'll see what they're like. Worst case scenario, I can sell them or I can return them. Actually, I don't think I can return them. The fashion over return policy is pretty bad. But either way, I was like, whatever, I'll just get them and see. But these look so much cuter in real life than they did in the photos. And that's because in real life, it's like a completely different color to the photos. They're <laughs> more of like a mint green. And this sort of pastel tone has been really on trend lately. This is something I could see from like Princess Polly, which seems to be such a trendy store lately. So I'm really, really happy with these. And you also couldn't really see the texture in the photos here. I keep looking down because I just have the photo for reference on the screen here. But you can't see that gorgeous texture in the photos. And I really think that that adds to the whole shoe. So that's turned out to be really good for me. But but it's definitely doesn't look exactly like the photo. So let's see why this was rated 3.7 out of 5 stars. So let's start off with the positive reviews. The positive reviews say cute heels, but not exactly as pictured, much lighter. Fully agree. Another good review says they're super cute, just not as bright as in person. The color is more light. And now for the bad reviews. The bad reviews say that they are cute, but uncomfortable to walk in. And then another review says, I thought the shoes were being bright neon. The color was dull. So it would seem that the main reason that people are unhappy with these shoes is because of the color which I previously mentioned and also that they are painful to walk in. Now look, high heels are painful to walk in. I don't care what anyone says, you never get used to it, they are always going to hurt you because your foot is not naturally meant to be standing up like that. So that is why they cause pain. However, there are definitely shoes that are extremely uncomfortable and just like unnecessarily uncomfortable so we'll definitely have to try these on and see if that is the case with these but I love these and think that they are so gorgeous. I'm so happy with these so let's go put them on and see what we think. Great start to this video. Alright my loves, these are what the green shoes look like on. So they are super cute. They are almost a little bit too small or are they actually, actually I think a more positive way to look at that is that they are actually the perfect size. So I got this in a size 8. I do usually wear a size 8 and they fit perfectly. So definitely if you are like unsure, say you're between an 8 and a 9, go for the 9 because these fit me perfectly. So they don't have any wiggle room is what I'm saying here. But they are super cute and they are also very uncomfortable so I've only been wearing these for a couple of minutes and I can definitely feel the uncomfortableness that people are talking about so I think it just comes from them being at such tall shoes I don't really think it's anything to do with the shoe itself tall shoes like these are just uncomfortable and honestly a heel of this height I personally probably wouldn't wear I know I love high heels and y'all know I love the height. However, this is probably just a little bit too much since it is that uncomfortable. I just personally wouldn't wear this. But if you are into these shoes, I actually think that they are great. They do look different to the photo, of course, but I personally think they look a lot better than the photo. So 10 out of 10 
recommend these shoes and I think they deserve to be one of the lowest rated items at all. The next pair of shoes come in this beautiful pink box and are from the brand Glaze. So these are from Fashion Nova, don't get me wrong, it's just that they must stock other brands on their website. So these are from the brand Glaze and these shoes I'm really excited for because they look on the website to be super in my style as they are covered in sparkles, which I love. So these shoes were rated 2.7 stars out of 5. So let's open up this box and see what we think. And these are what the shoes look like. So I've kept one in the way that it arrived, that way you guys can see the packaging and one without. So this is the packaging that it came in. Once again, it had, you know, this little stuffing in the middle so that it doesn't get all squished. And it also had a little bit around the top here, which is really good. But then this is what the shoe looks like without all that on. First of all, I absolutely love this design of all these sparkles. I had a pair very similar to this, but I've had them since 2016 and they're literally disgusting, falling apart. So I really needed a new pair and these look to be great. I love this little like thing that goes around your ankle here, how it stands up because that means that it will actually wrap around your ankle and do what it's meant to do because when it's like a weak tie up feature, they just fall down. They always fall down and it's so frustrating. So this will be really great. However, I am noticing some issues with these shoes. First of all, it's already starting to come up. Like this shoe is kind of broken. As you can see, boom, right there, you can see that like it's coming up, which I, these are brand new, so that definitely shouldn't happen. And on this same shoe, some of the diamantes are already starting to fall off. Now, look, I know this wasn't a super expensive shoe, as you can see right there, they're starting to fall off. Not super expensive, but still when they're brand new, that's not exactly what you want. And I know I'm being picky, but these are meant to be a pair of brand new shoes. If they're already falling apart, it doesn't make me very confident in how they're going to be once I like, you know, wear them out clubbing, wear them out to dinner, get them dirty, because that's what happens to shoes, they get dirty. It doesn't give me much confidence that they're gonna stay looking this beautiful. But I do like the overall design of them. I think they're beautiful, but just not very well made. So let's see what the reviews say. So the first review says, Beautiful shoes, however, one of the shoes was defective around the elastics and cannot be stretched. I'm sure if I wear them, they will break down, which that's not good. That doesn't seem to be an issue for us. They, the elastic seems to be pretty good on these, as you can see, they're pretty. So that doesn't seem to be an issue, thankfully. <laughs> and another review says that they're too small for a nine. I bought a nine and it was small. Would definitely recommend it sizing up on these. So I wear a size Australian eight. So I ordered these in a size eight. I'm pretty sure that's the same as the US as well. So these should fit like they are my size they don't look to be extremely small but we'll have to see when we try them on so let's go do that i'm having so much fun with this little thing okay i need to stop because i'm gonna ruin the shoe <laughs> let's try them on here we have these sparkly shoes on and i am obsessed i mean just look just look at these heels y'all take them all in take it all in because they are beautiful oh i love these so flipping much so these are gorgeous, obviously, I'm obsessed with them, but I'm so happy that I'm not having the issue of the elastic like that one review set because I was kind of concerned after reading that that like this was gonna fall down and not look cute, especially after me saying like how great it was meant to be. So that is really, really good. And the best part is with this, if you have like a bigger ankle, smaller ankle, whatever, it will fit to your ankle. So it will just wrap around like so, and it's just beautiful. So. These are the most comfortable in the world. I mean, look at that heel. Hello, good morning. That was never gonna be a comfortable height for my foot to be sitting at. However, the uncomfortableness is just coming from the heel. It's not like the shoe is made poorly or anything like that. The next pair of high heels that we have today are rated 2.5 out of 5 stars. We are getting down that scale, hun. So I do want to mention that all of the boxes say Fashion Nova Los Angeles. Is Fashion Nova rebranding to be Fashion Nova LA? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just curious about that. But anyway, these shoes are hopefully going to be great. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to see the positives in all of these shoes. Like, I know they're meant to be the lowest rated items, so obviously not that great. But ideally, these would all be shoes that I would wear. So these are meant to be a pair of black classic heels that I'm really hoping will be great because uh, everyone needs a pair of black classic heels. So let's open them up. All right, these are what the high heels look like on. And again, on the heels, it says Fashion Nova Los Angeles. So Fashion Nova must be in the middle of rebranding, I guess. But anyway, besides the point, these shoes look to be super cute. They have this thick heel on the back that's thick width ways, but not this ways, as you can see. So it'll give a little bit of extra support, but not a lot. And the toe is a square toe, as you can see there. So that's super trendy, but it's also actually really good for your feet and circulation because fun fact, I 
find this so interesting so i don't know maybe y'all will too our feet like modern day feet are ruined by shoes like if you look up feet of people that live in tribes or things like that where they go barefoot every day their toes are really spread like that whereas ours wearing modern day shoes our feet are all on top of each other it's really weird to look at like how messed up our feet are but anyway the reason for that is because all of our shoes are smaller at the top when in reality they should actually be bigger at the top for our toes to splay out and have that nice circulation and grip so wearing high heels like this despite high heels being horrible for your feet and torturous but i mean we all still wear them nonetheless myself included the a square toe is going to help and it is going to make them that little bit more comfortable because your feet are not being crammed in and stuck all on top of each other so i mean that's one positive at least of these heels they're still not great for your feet but hey it's a little bit of progress so that's what i like to see so they look to be a super cute i'm really excited for these heels because they look to be great and i'm excited to wear them so let's see why these are rated so poorly so the reviews say that they're very cute and comfortable but run a little big i can definitely see that i actually did think that when i pulled them out that they did look big but we'll have to see when i try them on the other reviews say very uncomfortable believe me i understand that four inch heels usually aren't too comfortable but the height isn't the problem it's actually a very comfortable height for being four inches the problem is the sole front part of the shoe it literally feels like you're walking on wood it's so incredibly hard i'm hoping a front of shoe insert will help a little that's very interesting so they're saying that this front bit here is really difficult to walk on and causes a lot of pain so again we'll have to see when we try them on that would suck if that's the case since it's like the only pair of shoes i have that are this square toe but we shall see when we try them on there is a third review here and it says maybe maybe for a wider foot also super cheap i don't know if i'm going to turn or not but I have a skinny narrow foot and these are just too roomy and square at the front my foot doesn't even fill up squared toes like the model does I'm hoping I can still make them work also underpad has good grip but attached poorly I can see that if that it is uneven could be a hazard to someone tripping they look great in the pick though yeah so I do have narrow feet as well so it'll be interesting to see again how these look but as for it being an issue when tripping I don't think this one isn't uneven on my shoes so that's not going to be an issue for me however it's something to keep in mind that it was an issue for someone else so let's get put these shoes on and see what we think for the first time in this video we have a pair of shoes that are kind of a bit big on me so these shoes I don't like them I don't know I really wanted to be all about this square design because as I explained they're meant to be really good for your feet but it just looks awkward it almost I like it just it just doesn't look right I really just don't like these shoes it just doesn't look right it looks like the shoe is way too big I've got like way too much space and it just looks awkward and I'm not a fan unfortunately so I definitely see what one of those reviews was saying about how it doesn't look like it does on the model because on the model it didn't look like she had a whole bit of extra I don't know space at the front there like you can see instead her feet filled it out so I definitely recommend sizing down on these shoes because they just look weird I don't like them like I'm definitely not gonna wear these out I don't think I'd wear them again just because they look so weird and so ugly and I just do not like them they also are pretty uncomfortable I'm actually really surprised at how uncomfortable these shoes are and again it is exactly like that review said that it feels like you're just standing on a piece of wood which isn't great the other shoes that I've worn in this video do not have that same feeling where it really hurts like right on the ball of your foot right here this is so uncomfortable they put no padding or anything there so that's why it just feels like you're standing on wood because whatever material it's made of is what you're standing on so these really just are a bad pair of shoes i really do not like them and it's really disappointing because i really wanted to like these i wanted them to be my basic black shoes but unfortunately it's just not a vibe y'all it's not a vibe we are now on to the lowest rated high heels at fashion nova these heels in this box were rated one out of five stars and they were the only high heels on fashion nova i could find that were rated so poorly so i'm very intrigued to see what these look like so let's open up the box and see okay are you ready for the big reveal these are the lowest rated high heels on fashion nova so once again these are what the heels look like they have this clear toe the clear wedge and then this clear little strappy thing and then this is how oops popped out but this is how they were shipped so they did have a little bit of styrofoam keeping the toe up which is really good that way it doesn't collapse and get stuck and they had a little bit covering the buckle here so that it doesn't scratch up the shoe which is really good so i'm just going to take that off so these shoes are really cool i usually don't wear wedges i don't know why i should look into them more i just 
seem to not gravitate towards them. But these look to be fine. Like for the lowest rated item on Fashion Nova, I'm not seeing any glaringly obvious issues. Maybe when I try them on, I will see some. But for now, they look great. They look to be super trendy. As I said, I am in need of a pair of black heels, like just a basic pair. And these will definitely work for that. And I'm thinking because they have this wedge, they should be a lot more comfortable to walk in because wedges are a lot more comfortable to walk in since you have this whole surface area instead of just the toe and this. This little added bit should help a lot. So they look to be great. The plastic will be interesting because I learned a fun fact about plastic on high heels the other day that I've been so excited to share with you guys because I found it so very interesting. I didn't know this. So these sort of heels, they can be really difficult to get on at first, like putting your toes in the front here, but that's because the plastic will mold to your feet. How cool. So the warmth from your body causes the plastic to mold around your foot, which is really great. So I did not know that. So that'll be great with these. It'll mold around your toe and then also on the ankle part too. So these look to be really great. I'm very confused on why they are one of the lowest rated items. Very insta baddie. So let's read the reviews. The reviews say I'm a huge wet fan and love the way these shoes looks but when I got mine they were insanely uncomfortable do not recommend I'm sending mine back wow okay so apparently they're insanely uncomfortable which isn't great considering they should for a wedge be comfortable like wedges are meant to be a comfortable pair of shoes so that is really interesting so let's just go put them on and see what we think and here we have the lowest rated high heels on Fashion Nova, which are surprisingly comfy. I am very confused. So these are what the heels look like on. They are a little bit small. As with oh, most of the heels in this video, they are snug. So it kind of seems that Fashion Nova's sizing has changed because in the past, I haven't had any issues with the shoes being like this. Well, not that it's an issue. It fits perfectly, but it does seem that the sizing has changed in that sense that like, if you are a size, you are exactly that size, you know what I mean? So it's not an issue for me because it fits, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. And I can see why some of these reviews were saying that. But these shoes are gorgeous. I love them so much. And they are actually really comfortable to walk in. I am very surprised and happy because all those reviews were saying that these are extremely uncomfortable to walk in. But I just did a couple of laps around my apartment like I have with all these shoes to see how they feel. And these are great. They are super easy to walk in because they're wedges and have all of that surface area. And they don't really hurt at all. I mean, of course, high heels are gonna hurt no matter what, right? So there is that little bit of pain, but it's not like anything like the other shoes. I honestly don't think that these deserve to be the lowest rated high heels on Fashion Nova because I love them. They're gorgeous. They're super comfortable, exactly like the photo and no issues at all. I actually think that the last pair of shoes that I just tried on, the black pair, they deserve to be the lowest rated item. All right, my loves, those are the lowest rated high heels on Fashion Nova. I did not think that going into this video, the green pair of heels were going to be my favorite, but here we are. They are my favorite. So let me know down below which pair of heels are your favorite and also what you thought of this video. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, TikTok, all that fun stuff. All of my links are on the screen right now and also down below. Be sure to subscribe as well and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. I love you so, so much. Have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye. Mwah.